Hi guys and uh, welcome to this week's edition of Show Us Your Kids here at Hobbies Australia. Now today, what we're going to do is something a little bit different. Instead of looking at a model kit, we're going to have a look at uh, a product from Deluxe Materials. Uh, it's a brand that's relatively new in Australia, hasn't had a lot of exposure, but here at Hobbies Australia, we're very excited about it, very, very passionate about it. And today we're going to showcase a brand new product called Looks Like Glass. Now the whole idea of Looks Like Glass is that quite simply we take our transparent parts, our aircraft canopies for argument's sake, we cut them off the sprue, we clean them up and then we immerse the part into the bottle of Looks Like Glass, we take it out, we let, allow the ex excess to uh, drain off and then we have a drying process of between two to three hours and then we literally have a model aircraft canopy that funnily enough looks like glass. The kit that we're going to look at today and we're going to work on is the new Zvezda Yak 130 in 148 scale, scheduled for release in just a few short weeks and funnily enough that will coincide with our next delivery of Deluxe Materials and the product that we're showcasing today looks like glass will also be available in Australia from approximately mid-June. So what I've got here today to, uh, to help me do this job is uh, a couple of tools from the Master Tools range. Uh, firstly we've got the model clamps. Um, as you can see here this is a multi-purpose clamp system that the modeler can change to whatever he or she requires. Uh, we've got two different clamps there, one with a grip, straight edge or smooth edge, um, variable positions on the base. Uh, they've got a rubber grommet, they sit really well. So this is a really good, durable, very easy to use, cost efficient tool that's going to really find its place at home on your workbench. The next tool of course um, is the side cutters, um, available from Master Tools. We've got a couple of different varieties in the range. I really like these ones. They're nice, big cushion grip. Um, they fit well in the palm of your hand. Compared to some of the other ones that are out there, um, you know, big globe, big hands. I lose that tool. I don't have quite as much control as I would like. With this side cutter, complete control. I know exactly what I'm doing. I, I know exactly where I'm cutting. The edges are great. They're straight. They're sharp. We get a nice, crisp, clean cut using a tool such as this. So the next tool I'll also be using today is the Master Tools tweezer set. Four pack of, tool, of, of tweezers retailing for around the $13 mark. I really am impressed with these. Um, the quality of them is first rate. We've got these great little covers to protect the tips. Um, what I found really impressive with this range of, of um, tweezers is that the way in which the actual tweezer tips touch gives me complete control for photo etch, for delicate jobs. These types of tweezers, absolutely first rate. You've got to have at least one set on your workbench. And the last tool that I'll be using today is again from Master Tools. And what this is, is our little edge trimmer. Uh, a nice tidy little tool, gives me complete control over removing those lumps and bumps from the part. Um, I have always used the back of my uh, hobby knife to, to remove those sorts of uh, imperfections, but since having this Master Tools uh, product in my workshop, um, I just find that I've got so much better control over what I'm doing, far less cuts on the finger, um, again a great multi-purpose tool. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we go, uh, first cut, taking off some of the uh, little ejection lugs on the side there with our side cutters, nice crisp cut, no issues there whatsoever. This is going to be an absolute walk in the park. Okay, so bang, there's our part off, ready to go. Okay, so um, you've seen by the still photos that we've cut the, uh, the canopy, we've trimmed it up, um, I've very hurriedly sanded it. Um, I've now got the part using my master tool tweezers and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to, um, as they suggest um, in the instructions on this, um, on this new product, is I'm just going to immerse the part. I'm going to then bring it out, let any excess drop back into the bottle and now I'm just going to put it on paper towel and I'm going to let it sit there and dry 
the quite a drying time is between two and three hours, but that's obviously going to depend on the, the local climate, if you're in air conditioning, whatever that case may be. So we're going to leave this to dry, and then we'll come back shortly and have a look at the finished product. But so far, it seems to be very, very easy to use. Um, and it's going to be something that I believe is going to be very, very impressive. Um, there's no need to dilute or mix this product. Um, it's ready that you could actually, if you wanted to, put this through a spray gun to paint um, the finish onto a large scale canopy, um, or as we've done here, immerse it. Um, yeah, let's just wait and see what happens when it dries. So this product um, is pre-thinned, it's suitable to put through a spray brush, uh, an airbrush system if you're lucky enough to have one at home. Um, lots and lots of options with this product. Um, it's been compared to Future Polish. Um, Future Polish has always been a bone of contention in various online forums, but this product is primarily aimed at transparent parts, where Future has been used to seal uh, transparent parts but also to put down as a base for decals. This product looks like glass is exactly that. It's designed to make plastic transparent parts look like glass. So we've allowed two hours drying time uh, on our product looks like glass. Um, an extra hour would certainly have made a little bit more difference. Um, because this was a very hurried presentation this afternoon uh, the end result isn't as good as I would um, have anticipated. Um, I should have used a uh, finer grade um, sanding pad to really come down to the canopy rails and get those right. Um, I also should have had some brushes here for wicking to stop the air bubble effect um, from the product. But look, all in all, um, this has come up very, very well. Um, we'll get some still shots that you'll have a look at. You'll see a before, you'll see an after. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be one of those products that's going to find its way onto most workbenches, if not all. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, yeah, it really does look like glass.